Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wow, and I'm back with the fifth replay of this epic rice pack, Kawaii Rice replay combo pack series number five something. As we will be seeing a ZVT matchup, and we are gonna see Kawaii Rice will be spawning right here at the bottom side of the map as the. Ooh, it's actually a random player. So uh, Kawaii Rice will be spawning here at the six o'clock position of the map. As the blue terror and his opponent is gonna be, I am happy will be spawning at the left side of the map as the red zerg. So surprise, surprise, I am happy is actually the random player, but he is indeed spawning as the red zerg for this game. So this should be pretty interesting. I actually thought that I am happy is a Terran player. I'm not sure why, but maybe because I was thinking of the player named Happy in the European server. He had his run. I'm not sure what happened to him though. But yeah, they are not really the same. So that's that's one of the reasons why maybe I am thinking about Happy, the European player. But anyways, both players are pretty good. But then again, this guy is a cold A if I remember correctly. So that's actually a very awesome feat. And I'm not sure how he will go up against um, Kawaii Rice here. If he is indeed a random player, this should be pretty interesting. We should see some cheesy plays coming out of the base of Happy. Because usually that's what random players do is that they go for a lot of cheesy stuff or a lot of timing pushes and stuff. So we might see that coming out of the base of our Zerg player very, very shortly. But we are indeed going to see a hatchery. Going down here, 15 hatch on the way for Mr. Happy. On the other side, no, no real greedy opening right here for Mr. Kawaii Rice. Just typical opening. Gonna be walling off the ramp as well. But finally we have a TVZ matchup right here guys. Are you guys excited? I am actually excited because I know a little bit more about this matchup than the matchups that I casted before. So I guess I can predict a little bit of what the outcome should be. But again, don't really, don't really keep your hopes up. I'm just gonna try. I'm not really gonna completely be perfect with those predictions. But anyways, I would like to give a shout out to Mr. Kawaii Rice again for unleashing or unleash yeah unleashing this awesome replay pack with 50 replays in it. And props to his new team, Team Light. This is actually a good promotion for him and his new com new team. Like yeah, love the community. Or if you give something to the community, you're definitely gonna get love back, and your team as well is gonna get dragged out along with it. It's a weird play right here by Kawaii Rice. He's actually faking to go for a bunker harassment but definitely there is not gonna ha be one as nothing, no other marine is gonna come in from that side as he is also making a reactor here and gonna be making a factory so he is gonna transition to some hell and play here very very shortly. It's an interesting play right there by Mr. Kawaii Rice. We are gonna see a spine crawler being made right here by I am happy. That's actually a very very typical uh, spine crawler that's very basic you really need at least one spine crawler in your natural expansion just in case uh, just in case you know just in case sudden harassment comes in that you never expect but anyways look at this he actually kawaii rice actually forced i am happy to make this amount of zerglings just because he faked an attack with three scvs and one marine so that all of that zerglings could have been drones and i'm pretty sure i am happy is also saying the same thing that those could have been drones and that those could have been helping him out a lot in his economy like for like a minute now but anyways we do have two hellions on the way right here and also a starport on the way and this is gonna be a tech lab so we are gonna see some banshees here very very shortly this should be pretty interesting as to how he is gonna pull things off and this should be pretty fun also because this is one of those playstyles where a random player will have a hard time dealing with because they are not used to dealing with early pressure especially if they are random zerg players as uh, so we look at the base right now hub mr uh, happy he doesn't have any evil chambers at all only has one queen in the main base and one queen in the natural not even having a queen to spread the creep so this should be pretty interesting and let's see how he will react once he sees the banshee and once he sees that starport with attack lab the science was gonna attempt to go for a little bit of harassment but again he they got discovered or they got entertained or they get blocked by one of those spine crawlers I didn't really see why or didn't really see which one but yeah they, some of them or one of them took some damage and they are now coming back I think it's also another fake play right there by Mr. Kawhi Rice he is definitely gonna push in with this Banshee play this is gonna be pretty fun we'll see how much damage he's gonna be able to do or is he gonna be waiting for one more Banshee to pop out before he attacks looks like he is 
yes indeed he's gonna wait for another banshee to pop out that's actually the smartest thing to do because right now his cloak is not done yet and two banshees are better than one and right now we he doesn't have any idea of what's happening he is making an evil chamber though i believe that's because he just that's just because he needs to do the upgrades uh, around this time already and I don't think he has gotten wind of what's happening yet inside the base of Kawhi. No, he has no idea what's happening at all. It, there was an overlord there that was walked in there. I'm not sure if you did see that Banshee, but like, here we go. We're going to see these Hellens. They're going to try to go for him. But again, they're taking a ton of damage right here. They're already losing a lot of age. We got surrounded right there by those Hellens as well. But again, we do have this Banshee right here. Oh no, it is completely invisible. The evil chamber is still far away from being completed. And, and actually, there is nothing to attack. This Banshee right now, the Queen is gonna go down very nice way, you can actually just uncloak right now and just easily destroy a lot of these Banshees, Banshee or a lot of these drones right now, focusing fire on those drones right now is this one Banshee, look at that, 4 kills already for that one Banshee alone as those Hellions are taking a lot of a lot of kills as well from those Banshee, so they're pretty much still stealing those kills for that Banshee, but again he still gets 8 kills, very nice way right here, some of those drones are not even mining at all, well right now I am happy it's completely discombobulated he doesn't know what to do but finally we do have a spore crawler up on the field right now here for I am happy look at the food supply difference we have 51 food for I for Kawhi rice and 22 food for I am happy let's look at the kill count here real quick 29 workers were discombobulated there were massacred were raped by Kawhi rice awesome stuff right here and Let's see if he can be able to do more damage here. He does have three banshees right here. Gonna try to focus fire on that one queen alone. The second queen just popped out here. Looks like he's gonna be able to be okay for now. But then again, the sport crawler doesn't really have uh, range to attack those uh, banshees. Good transmission rate. They're keeping that one queen alive a little bit more. We have four queens on the field right now, and he stopped completely mine, um, making those queens very, very nice player here. But I am happy. Finally, he's gonna be able to stabilize a little bit. And now gonna pretty much safely macro up a little bit more as we do see Kawaii is gonna be making a command center definitely gonna be making it to an overall command before he lifts it up to his natural expansion we'll see though we'll see more badges are surprisingly being made right here by Kawaii so I'm not sure what his plan is right now but then again after this moment there is still barely any anti-air in the army of I am happy he's not making any hydrants then whatsoever there is no uh, layer tech as of this moment and there's no spire tech as well so he's gonna have a hard time if ever there is like a ton of benches already on the field because a ton of benches does a lot of damage even though if you have any or if you, even though if you have sport balls and such Ooh, good scan right there gonna take out a couple of those creep tumors and that's gonna delay those movement speed of those banshees or those queens by a lot if ever the creep recedes to a smaller uh, portion and here we go we get some health here they're gonna try to go for a run by are they gonna be able to make it inside looks like they are gonna be able to make it inside one thing goes down a second thing second thing's gonna get focused right and goes down as well but so many drones got massacred there again we have the total kill count one more time 43 drones have been completely killed by Kawaii's awesome stuff right here this is the most annoying play ever for a zerg player to deal with so awesome so much damage being incorporated here and this is actually one of the downsides of being a random player look at that barbecue all the way 54 drones already killed by kawaii rice it is now 21 against 65 i don't know why i am happy still hanging around here i guess he doesn't know how much deficit he is right now as uh, so right now kawaii rice has 32 drones compared to the 12 uh, harvesters of i am happy did i call it SEVs drones i meant SEVs. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Another uh, command center is being made right here by Kawhi. So he's really, really comfortable with his lead right now. Two engineering base being made here as well. And also Stim is done, almost done right here for Kawhi. So we might see a timing push right here coming out of the base of Kawhi very soon. He is making a good amount of Marines here. But a Raven is on the way as well. Mm, interesting play. Might see auto turret. Auto turret play is pretty good. Auto turrets are pretty good, yeah. Pretty good harasser as well. We'll see though, we'll see how much damage he's gonna be able to do as we look at the units that we have one Zergling, four Queens, and 27 Harvesters for the Zerg player. On the other side, we have 38 SCVs, two Hellions, five Banshees, and 16 Marines. 
So here we go. This is the push out that I was talking about. Let's see how much damage she's gonna be able to do with this though. Because I I rarely see this type of composition um, pushing out of the base of a Terran player. He might wait for some upgrades here, or he might want to wait for some upgrades here before he commits to this push. But again, he is just gonna commit to this. He's gonna go for uh, maybe the spine spine crawlers. He's gonna kill off the spine crawlers first, and then gonna commit to the attack. Here we go. The queens are gonna do their best to transfuse as many defensive structures as they are possible. But then again, the spine crawler goes down right there, and they have no more vision on the lower ground. Very, very nice play. Queens are gonna go down one by one by one. Spine crawlers are gonna focus right as well, and there is no more defense here on the low ground. Very nice play right here. By Mr. Kawaris. I am happy down to 62 foot supply and now all the drones are gonna run away as fast as possible. Again, Queen are gonna try their best to just go help something. I don't know if the Zergis are gonna come in from the low ground, from the high ground to the low ground, gonna try to surround all those Marines and all those Marines are gonna go down definitely. But the, still, though, there are three benches here still harassing all over the map. The Queen again is gonna go down. No more Queens inside. We only have 30 seconds, 37 Zergis on the field right now. And this is actually the best thing to do right now for Kawaris is to do. Go for a counter attack. All the turrets are gonna get tanked down right here as well. But again, the Zergis are gonna surround all of those Marines and they're gonna clean things up very, very nicely. 87 x 44. Let's see how much damage he's gonna be able to do here. But again, there is a Sea Shanker there up front, and I am happy. Finally leaves this game. Good game, good game by Kawhi Rice completely rolling over. I am happy and taking this game at a ladder point as well. Awesome job, awesome job. But then again, according to him, according to the chat log, I am happy rolled a random. Or played as a random and he played as a Terran or came out as a Zerg, which is not really easy to play as a random. But, anyways, here you go, guys. That's five replays from the Kawaii Rai Super Ultra Combo Bento Kawaii Combo Pack. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will try my best to upload more. If you guys are interested in watching more, please do tell me in the comment section down below. I will upload this right now as soon as I stop this recording. And yeah, please do comment, and sub please do comment, like, subscribe. If you have time, yeah, it would definitely, definitely appreciate it. And yeah, remarks are, or feedbacks are really, really appreciated, especially the helpful ones as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys soon. Peace out. I'm out. Bye.